Nagata Kankoya. Uh, I also want to offer from Sinn Féin, and we have a long history under Quibin O'Quillan's leadership of working with the government on children's rights issues, and I'm sure the Minister will testify to that. So we also will work with the government to ensure that our children have the proper uh, legislative uh, protection. Now, I mean, last, last night's investigation by RTE, as you have acknowledged, un, un, uncovered some very disturbing realities. And I think we should recognise the excellent work done by many, many uh, child care workers who do their jobs properly. But unfortunately, Taoiseach, this is a business and it's, it's, it's for profit, and we just need to face up to that reality uh, also. The, the needs of the children, in many cases, and we saw this last night, are not being met. In reality, they're being violated. Young children strapped to chairs, locked in rooms, daily diaries falsified, children being treated and thrown about as if they were rag dolls. And this is emotional and physical abuse of these citizens. And at the core of it, there's a failure of regulation and a failure of governance. And these breaches are widespread. There, there is no adequate, uh, robust inspection regimes. Some crashes in some parts of the state have not been inspected, we're told, for four years. Now, Taoiseach, here's the question which I think gets to the core of all of this. These crashes receive state funding. Now, how can this happen? How can taxpayers' money be given to a crash when that crash has not been inspected? There are no inspectors in local health offices in Dublin, South City, in Sligo and Leitrim, in my own constituency of Louth, and Kevin and North Monaghan. Yet these receive millions of taxpayers' money. And there does seem to be a, an overemphasis on the business interests of child care providers and an underemphasis on standards, training of staff and regulation. Thank you. We also have to recognise that this is a very profitable business, especially and not least because the state is funding it. So, Taoiseach, would you ensure, or would you, could the Minister ensure, that no state funding will be provided without a stringent inspection regime, without proper training and without robust regulation. Thank you, Deputy. Thank you, I have to say to you that any, uh, any incident of a lack of compliance here has got to be followed up rigorously uh, and seen to be implemented to the highest standard. And I accept your comment, and I know of Deputy O'Kailon's uh, interest and cooperation in this matter over the years. This affects everybody in the country, and we need to get it right. Uh, I, I share your view, uh, Deputy Adams, Regulation is meaningless unless it can be implemented and be seen to be implemented. This has not, this has not to be seen as a box-ticking exercise, nor is it politics, nor should it be about economics. It's about our children. Parents make the choice where there's a, where there's a, a preschool year and the money follows the child, but the choice is made by the parents. And parents that I speak to have taken their children from um, you know, from uh, one facility to another, depending on their particular circumstances. Um, but what we need is a far more comprehensive regime here of inspection. And it's got to be that the brand image of the child care profession has got to be seen to be of the highest standard. Um, some of the things that have happened in the past period, of course, but not only the appointment of the, of the minister herself to have a you know, political focus as a head of a department, but the um, children's uh, first guidelines, those heads will come back to government shortly. The referendum went through the child, child and Family Support Agency is one, as I said to Deputy Martin, that's not to be seen as a new agency with, this, with, the, with, the, uh, with inferior standards. This is an opportunity, actually, to break that culture, improve, improve the brand image, with proper inspections focused on the quality uh, of what the children actually get in these, uh, in these, uh, in these centres. The, the Vetting Bureau Bill is, uh, is part of that. There are 25 additional staff being recruited. The Minister will respond when she has details uh, from the HSE as to when that training will be completed. Um, plans are also advanced to require registration uh, for all childcare providers because you want to do this on a national basis with a national standard. 
and whether they're in, in, in Bell Mullet or in Bolton Glass or up in Bell Tray or down in, down in Bell and Skelligs, the standards have to be the same, whether they're for profit or not for profit. This is about children and we will not accept any inferior standards and we'll see to it that the Minister with, with the political responsibility as head of the Department of Children and that the agencies of the HSE uh, and any other um, under, under, the, uh, under the pieces of legislation uh, for which I thank you for your cooperation will see to it that these standards are implemented. There would be no, there would be no um, complacency uh, and I welcome the fact that, that while this programme was, was a, a shocking expose um, it has confirmed uh, that uh, this actually applies in some cases. I myself know of the highest standards being implemented in other places around the country and in many cases remote online um, uh, uh, application and visibility is there for any parent to see reports of inspections are available and we need these standards to be brought up, implemented and be seen to be implemented. There is no place in this profession for those who don't have the capacity to measure up to these standards. Thank you. Deputy Adams. Well, well first of all, we, we agree, Taoiseach, with what you say about what the service should be. But the fact is, and the reality is, that this is a private for profit sector for child care. That's the fact. And we can't get away from that. And the, the, you know, no, matter how, no matter how you come about this, there's an absence of trained staff, there's a lack of enforcement of standards, there's a weak inspection regime. That's reality. And in that situation, then, you will get abuse, in this case, of, of citizens who happen to be small children. Now, you see, what I can't come away from, and you didn't answer this, Taoiseach, if there is no inspection in a facility for four years, or if there is no inspector in regions of the state, how can state funding be given to those projects? You know, if, if, if you're a carer looking after a loved one at home, you're put through a hoop. If you're in the community sector trying to get uh, some funding for, for disadvantaged children or for elderly people, you're put through a hoop. But here we have millions of state funding being put into a system which I accept has many, many good examples of good childcare, but also has this uh, private for profit sector with the emphasis on running this like a business, cutting uh, corners, getting the most profit out of it, and the children suffer. Thank so you. so, so the, the straight question, Taoiseach, is will you, will you stop state funding where there isn't inspection, where there isn't uh, regulation, where there isn't adequate uh, training? It's a simple, a simple, I mean, if it was any other issue, there wouldn't be a question about this. Why should we be putting the taxpayers' money into a private for profit sector which is not only not providing for our children, but which in some cases is abusing our children? Thank you. In, 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 in 2011 and 2012, over 2,600 childcare providers, Deputy Adams, were the subject of inspections by the HSE which is an inspection rate of over 60% of all providers uh, in each year. Um, that compares more than favourably with the system which applies in England, actually, where the uh, Ofsted uh, operates a policy of inspecting childcare providers on a three to four year cycle. Now, uh, I, I pointed out to you that, um, that um, whether, the, uh, whether the facility is for profit or not for profit, uh, the standards have to be of the at the highest level. Um, I don't know. I, I can't answer your question here uh, as to as to what facilities have got state funding that have not had an inspection over a period of 18 months or two years. But I'm sure we get that detail uh, as part of the discussions that have to take place here. Yes. No. I, 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 I don't have the answer as to what number would have received state funding where no inspection is taking place because I don't have the detailed list. We'll find that out. Um, the, the situation insofar as the training of uh, inspectors is now underway, the Minister will deal with that. But what I'm concerned about, Deputy Adams, is that the inspections that take place should not just be about the environment, to check whether the lights are working or whether the, the, uh, the plugs are in order. These things are important. But the most important element of all are the children 
uh, and it's got to be about the quality of the care and the environment in which the children um, attend at that facility. And that's where the focus and the quality of the inspections has to be centred. And it needs to be far broader, far more thorough, far more comprehensive than what has applied in the past. You know, and I know, that there has been no focus on under fives in this country for a very long time. And this minister is dealing with a long set of legacy issues going back for very many years through lots of different governments. But at least as the head of a political department with a specific focus on children, on their rights and their facilities, this programme has helped to refocus on the necessity to have quality at its core in terms of inspections, in terms of uh, the, the uh, attitude, the treatment and the care of children. Uh, and obviously the Early Years programme is an example of where high standards can apply with a seamless transfer into the formal schooling system. This is something that concerns everybody. Uh, when we get the bill uh, through government, we'll ask for the cooperation of parties to help us put it through the House.